Hey everyone, this is Nolan from Team Takeover and Natty Nolan. Uh, we're here at Locals and I got third place with Battling Boxers post new support. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go over the deck profile. <laughs> this deck is... <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, one Nib, one Dogaran. These are both small world targets. We're going second cards. Uh, so if you open up Nib or Dogaran, you can float into any battle boxer. You go small world Nib, go into Dogaran because they share the attack, and then with the attribute, you go into Promoter uh, or whatever you need. Uh, I can work the opposite way too. Um, you can just go Dogaran into like Spar into Promoter. So these are both just small world targets. Um, other hand traps, double droll, uh, which I, honestly I, I saw a few times. It just, you know, I think it only came up like once or twice. Uh, three ash. Um, I, I just rather have the ash than the droll. Um, they all came up. They're all pretty good. Um, no complaints. Just generic hand traps. Um, Battle and boxers. We're playing three of every of the new ones. <clears throat> so. Three promoter. Um, you can tribute this card. Uh, rescue rabbits out to battling boxers from your deck. Uh, you're locked into battling boxers, but that's kind of like a non-issue if you're going into Dempsey and everything. And then some really cool. You can banish this, increase all the levels by one. So if you have three level fives on board, you can make um, the Kaiser, which is just if you get out Kaiser, you're winning the game. And every time I got Kaiser out, you win the game. So three of this dude. Um, three upper cutter. This is another one card starter. Uh, so all of both of these, honestly, are. Uh, one card starters. Um, upper cutter is just a little bit worse. Um, so yeah, first effect, search a counter counter trap. So you can search for your um, Flamvel or the Battle Boxer one, and or you can search for a monster. If you're going the one card combo with this, you search for a monster. You search for Spar because you don't, you're not worried about your battle phase going first. Um, and if it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, so like detaching off Zeus or Dempsey or Lead Yoke, you can reset a counter from a counter trap from Grave, or you can revive like King Dempsey or whatever you need, like even um, Promoter from Graveyard. It's any battle boxer, you just special summon it. Um, so three of those. Uh, three Chief, um, Chief Second. Uh, it gives you an extra normal summon, and the, the part that doesn't really come up, but it can come up, uh, if you, if a Battle Boxer monster is attacked, you can special summon this card and non-targeting banish that attacking monster until the end phase. Um, so it saves your monster, you get this on board, so it's already a four, and you get two normal summons on your next turn. Um, but it's you can also use it as like a small little target. It does come up, it's, a, it's just a good card. I mean, free normal summons. Uh, three Spar. Um, it's kind of an awkward card. Going first, this card is insane. It's not once per turn. Like, if you summon this and you have three, you can just summon out the other two. Dempsey, search, summon out another monster, uh, like, um, your, uh, shadow. But for this, um, you normally side out of one, going second, but, uh, you always play three anyway, because just extender. Uh, so those are the three ofs. Uh, two switch hitter. These are for follow-up for the following turn. Uh, on normal, you just summon out. Honestly, you, you're either doing promoter, upper cutter, or Dempsey to summon off of this. It's not once per turn. So if you have two of these and you already have Chief on the field, you can normal, bring back promoter, do whatever you gotta do, and then normal a second one and bring out like Dempsey. So this card's insane because it's not once per turn. It's just old cards that um, aren't restricted. So you play two of them. Um, <clears throat> one glass draw. This card's crazy. Just add back any battle box from his detached. So off like Zeus, Dempsey, Lady Oak, whatever. And one shadow. One shadow is just part of like if you end up getting bricked, um, or like they Ash Promoter or they Imperm Uppercutter. You go into your uh, shadow to detach. If you're able to make it to King Dempsey, you detach the material. Hopefully Uppercutter to summon this. When you detach Uppercutter off of this, you summon back any other battle boxer, and then that's when you go into like a lead yoke or the um, number 76 just for more follow. -up. So this card does come up. It's, it's actually pretty good. Um, spells. I main deck a few other going second cards, so double lightning storm. It, I don't really think it needs much explanation. This deck can't play into back rows, so like trap tricks, altar guys, that it just kind of kills this deck. So you want it, you want something at least for back row. Um, monsters less so because I mean you have like Dogran, you have Nibiru, uh, Imperm, Book of Moon, but it does come up especially against Rika. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Um, three small world again. Th it's. It's better than Prosperity in this deck because it just searches for any starter. Um, I'd, I'd play this over Prosperity in this deck any day. It's just better. Um, searches for anything. Uh, one Spirit. This card's insane. It, it's for milling Uppercutter or Glass Draw off the top of this, plus reviving anything is just it's wild. But yeah, if they um 
If you activate Promoter in hand, then negate and destroy it, you just go Spirits to resummon it and still activate its effect. So it's it's just good Reborn. It's a one-off because once per turn, but it's searchable. Um, other staples, Double Book of Moon. Uh, it's just good this format. Uh, one Rota, one Call By. You, you, it's just Rota's for Warriors, Call By, just, you know, generic staple. This for, like, Salad or Pearly, uh, even, like, Rescue Ace. Like, you just do Hydron on Summon. You can't really do anything past that. Um, unless they have Emergency, I guess, but... Double Imperm and triple rivalry you, you all have you know it's just fire warriors and this just hits a lot of decks like brandon chimera right now for example um so yeah, it's just it's good um, double imperm again more going second cards you play like i don't remember it's like 16 to 18 non engine in here so it's like half your deck is just hand traps or whatever and then you have your counters so searchable searchable um, I'll show you. The, I'll show you off the one card combo, but these are both searchable off of just one card combos. Uh, spell trap negate, monster negate. This also goes into your big dude, uh, Kaiser. Um, extra deck, double Dempsey, um, double Kaiser, double lead yoke. I'm not going to explain what this does. I want you to know. Um, just protects. Um, Kaiser is a solemn morning, plus it has non-targeting suck, uh, which is really good in battle. It's a, if any battle and boxer monster battles, you just suck up their card, like relinquished. Um, Dempsey, it's kind of like the whole deck revolves around. I'm sorry, there's actually a third one. Um, whole deck just revolves around Dempsey, just constantly recycling Dempsey. Because uh, you can special summon this off of Upper Cutter. You can just summon, search, summon, search, summon, search. Um, so yeah, those are the only battle boxer XZ's monsters. Um, other, oh, except this one, but th uh, this one's really bad. You just have to play it because it's follow-up in case you get stopped with your main combo. If they destroy this by battle or card effect, you just summon back any battle boxers up to the number of material. So you can get like, you know, when you're like one of everything back, you can get like this, um, you can get Dempsey and maybe like Upper Cutter from Grave. And then you have this interruption, this interruption, follow-up off Upper, upper Cutter, so... It's alright, it, it just never came up. Um, it's plan B, uh, definitely plan B card. Um, really, really good card if you're able to get into it and you're not locked into battling boxers. Um, then you have uh, the UDF package and Zeus. Zeus is really good because you detach for um, cost. Um, so I mean, it's you know, it, I don't know. It's just it's just a good card. Um, detach some stuff. Um, gain like, advantage. Ooh, that um, is and then one Hito, <laughs> one Ashima. This never comes up. It's just for back row decks, uh, especially if you don't get locked. And Hito's really good because uh, you destroy, you just add any fire. So you get like promoter full combo from there. Um, not only this one came up, Ahashima doesn't come up, but it, it could be good. And then side deck, I have the other two Nibiru for going second. Uh, that's it for the monsters on that one. Um, triple Dark Ruler. Um, I didn't use this a single time today. I just there's just not really any decks right now, so I probably replace this with like Ghost Bell or something. Um, Triple Ride Geki, this card does come up, and it, ha it did come up several times today. And the one Harpies, because I already have some back row removal in the main, but if I'm playing like heavy back row, I just side this in. Uh, traps, three evenly, three barrier. I sided into evenly, this came up so many times today. Incredible card, because you don't really care that much about your battle phase. You can just like lock them into bad plays just by uh, clearing the board, setting up, and then just, you know, kind of outpacing them. Um, so you have infinite loops basically with uh, Battle Boxer now. Um, 3D barrier. It's, just, you have, it's unfortunate that you have to play it, but you have to play it. Um, so the one card combo, um, it's just off a of promoter. So you summon this, you send it to Grave, and then you summon out Upper Cutter, you summon out Blast Jaw, you go Upper Cutter effect, you add Flamvel Counter, uh, then you overlay these. You go into Dempsey, you go Dempsey effects, you add the second counter trap, uh, you set these, and then you can you can either pass or just go to end phase here, but either way, what you're going to do is during the opponent's draw phase, you're going to send the upper cutter, and then, so nothing you have, nothing uh, Battle Boxer can be targeted, and then you go upper cutter, summon a promoter, so that gives you um, flamble counter for this engrave for any spell trap, 
Uh, this, uh, you destroy, you use that as material because you destroyed a battling boxer. And then you summon out uh, Kaiser, Lead Yoke, or another Dempsey depending on the matchup. Usually I always went the Kaiser, so that way they have to get rid of this before they go battle. Uh, but Lead Yoke can come up. Lead Yoke's really good going into Unchained. And this is really good if you're just looking for follow up if you don't have anything in hand. Uh, because of that one card combo, you still have four cards in hand, and you play a lot of non engine. So if, all, if your whole hand is just hand traps, then you just go into Dempsey to search for another promoter, uppercutter, or chief second, and then you're just good to go. So it's a one card combo that gets into like infinite recursion, double um, counter traps, clears you out. I mean, especially if you're going first, it's just it's just a dumb dumb deck. Um, yeah, I mean, I think everyone here is really surprised I got third place with this deck. Um, it's, it's just good. I don't know how else to play it. It's, it has a lot of recursion. It has a lot of defense, good offense. Even if you're locked in the Batman Boxer, all your monsters are gigantic. Um, and you're just able to clear boards, you're able to defend boards, one card combos into double counter traps, four hand traps. It's just really good. So. Yeah, but that's it. All right, thanks.